Hello, I'm Larry Knox. I hold the Northeast Council seat for the Police Accountability Board. I have a two-year term. Larry, what led you to the PAB and why is it important to you? I've been a longtime supporter of the PAB. I remember when the conversations, or the latest conversations, first started in our community a few years ago about getting a Police Accountability Board. And my union uh, and also groups that I was involved with all lobbied for and were part of the process of helping this become a law. I was really uh, happy when 75% of the voters selected, uh, voted for this to become law. And I, by joining the board, I feel like it helped make what the people wanted uh, a reality. Uh, our allies from the Alliance, uh, city council members, the community, all my neighbors, they all want a fully functioning PAB to help improve community police relations. And I see myself being a part of that process. What's the most interesting thing you've done so far at the PAB? Everything's been interesting, but the most interesting thing probably has been the press conference that we had uh, a week ago from today. Uh, we, it was an opportunity to address the community about what the PAB was doing, uh, what we're gonna be doing for the next 30 days, uh, answered a lot of questions I think that the community had and, and, other, and others, and I was really proud to take part in that and help educate and inform the community about our progress. What do you look forward to the most serving on the board, and then what do you see being the most challenging thing for the PAB board? I think the most challenging thing is being on the ground floor of a new organization. Uh, this is a very large responsibility and very large organization, and it's been it's rare for something this big to happen in our community, especially in the city government. And I see that a challenge is getting that running smoothly and reaching the goals that the people who voted for this uh, to become a reality uh, want and expect. But I think that's a good challenge, just something that is not going to be always smooth. We want to make it as smooth as possible and get to the results that the community is looking for. And what do you look forward to the most? Uh, I look forward to the most to engaging with the community. I think this is a unique board. It's a unique mission. Uh, hopefully there'll be more of these across the country. And we could be a good model for making this uh, a reality. So I look forward to us being successful and getting into the work of making sure that what the community asked for is completed. And what does changing policing look like for you? Uh, changing policing has many different definitions for many different, uh, that's like a school answer. Let me that <laughs> okay. uh, I think here in Rochester, uh, voters spoke loud on wanting to improve community police relations. So I see our role in the PAB being able to make it easier and better for the community to feel trusted with the police and for the police department to have better interactions with the community. Uh, this isn't something that's going to happen right away, but I think what, uh, what the PAB has been tasked with doing in regards to suggestions for policy, for investigations, and for community outreach, that over time we would start to see an improvement in relations between our police department and the community. And I had an interesting conversation once with a renowned activist, uh, Fred Shuttlesworth, the civil rights pioneer. Google him, you'll find all about him. He was uh, uh, part, lived in Birmingham, was part of the civil rights movement in Birmingham. And I was at an event uh, for a political campaign in Ohio and uh, Reverend Shuttlesworth was there. And we were having a conversation before the event and he asked me how old I was and, and, and what I was, you know, how I got involved in politics. And I, you know, told him and we just had this really good conversation. And he said, I appreciate you being young and involved in this, but don't forget, you know, if you stay, as you stay in the political field, you said to be an activist at heart. And there's different lanes, different ways of doing activism and, and community engagement and, and politics. We always need to be an activist at heart, and that always stuck with me. Um, that he was encouraging uh, Reverend Shuttlesworth, and you know, no matter what lane I took in activism or politics, always being an activist at heart.